Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Ra. I'm your host and I'm here with Barry Bonifield at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email that comes in from Rogelio. And he says, Chaz, I love your podcast. It's very helpful to me and my buddies. Sweet. Thank you very much. It's always good to get that type of feedback, so please keep it coming. He says, I've been playing for almost a whole year now and I started shooting about 130 with continued play. I'm now down to 105, 110. Many aspects of my game have improved, but the biggest issue I face is when I find my ball 60 to 100 yards out. I seem to keep scolding the ball, and in the process, I overshoot the green. How do I consistently get the ball up in there and closer to the pin? Well, first of all, stop yelling at your ball. Remember, give your ball love. Remember, I'm okay, you're okay, the golf game's okay. Right, Barry? That's right. What kind of tips can we get to, to this gentleman here? Uh, Rahelio, first of all, congratulations on taking up golf in the last year. That's great. Your uh, emphasis on looking in the area from 60 to 100 yards is perfect because that's your main scoring zone in golf. And the sculling of the golf ball really is a common problem, but more so than anything else, it becomes an issue of a magic sound. And when we get up here by the green, you'll know exactly what I mean. Well, great. Thank you, Barry. We're going to be joining Barry on the course here in just a moment. Now, remember, Rogelio, just for your participation, yes, your friends are going to be envious because you get a bonnet glove. And it's real easy if you'd like to participate to get one of these as well. Just send an email, podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Please include, of course, the question, your full mailing address, and if you're right or left-handed, and what size you wear. You do all that, and we use your question. We'd be more than happy to use it in an upcoming podcast. So we've been getting lots and lots of emails. So please keep them coming. Please leave your feedback in iTunes. And I thank you for your never-ending support by telling all your friends. So, Barry, let's go on the course and uh, answer this question in this podcast. Sounds good. So, Rahelio, here we go. Now, this, this shot, I'm about 60 yards from this green. And again, this is the scoring zone. This is where you have to make it happen. And to be sculling the golf ball in this situation is just certain death to your score. So, you're right in addressing it. Let me go over a couple of issues with you. And one of the, one of the key things when we're having an instructional situation is to keep it as brief as possible while combining valuable content and not getting too wordy because you won't be able to work on three or four things at one time. Number one, when you settle in over the golf ball, bend from the waist and get in over that golf ball at, at a comfortable height. You can see I shouldn't have too much of a hump in my back on this shot. I should be just bent kind of nicely. And with the club sold on the ground now, I have to remain in this posture. So much of the time when people are sculling the golf ball or coming out of the shot, you can see I'm now straight up and down, they have abandoned the posture where they've started. Now one of the difficulties becomes, how in the world can I shift my weight freely during the swing without coming out of that shot? And it really becomes an issue of the movement within the hips where my right hip has to turn this way but it's mostly going backward and when I swing through my left hip goes this way it's mostly going backward I'm not moving so much side to side this way but at the same time I'm staying in and here comes the magic sound I mentioned to you earlier when this club contacts that ground that's what you should hear the secret to getting that golf ball in the air is being able to contact the golf ball with the club because I've stayed in this posture which allows the club to return where it has started. So that club is going to make its journey and then contact that ground. That's going to get the golf ball in the air every single time that you make that magic sound. And that's by staying in your posture, not by keeping your head down, but by staying in your posture. Okay? Hope that helps you a lot. Rahelio, for more information, be sure to contact your local PGA golf professional.